From the largest broadcast newsroom in southwestern Ontario, this is News Now Regional Report. Here is Stephanie Manson. Good evening. One London man is clinging to life in hospital this hour, another in stable condition after undergoing emergency surgery. The two were victims of yet another stabbing in the downtown core. Our crime specialist Kathy Mueller has the story. At about 2.37 this morning, uh, police received a call from uh, the area of Richmond Street in York indicating that a stabbing had occurred. The officers arrived here a few moments later and discovered that two men had in fact been stabbed, uh, both quite seriously, one more seriously than the other, a severe stab wound to uh, the neck. Um, the first officer at the scene uh, performs uh, emergency treatment on the wound until the ambulances arrived. There was a large crowd that was present at the scene and as a result of information that was received, two males, both in their early 20s, were arrested and two knives were recovered from two separate locations. Investigators say one knife was recovered across the street near the VIA station. One suspect apparently dropped the weapon while running away. The second knife was recovered on Richmond Street right in front of the bar Ichabod's. From some of the uh, crowd that was in the area, uh, it appeared as though the assault arose over the taking of a cab. After coming out of a bar? After coming out of a bar on the, uh, the corner of Richmond and York. Two men have been charged in connection with the double stabbing. 24-year-old Michael Post faces two counts of aggravated assault. 21-year-old James Saunders has been charged with assault. This is the second weekend in a row there's been a stabbing in this part of the city and the third since Christmas. Last weekend, a former bouncer was stabbed just up at Ichabod's and on Boxing Day, five men were stabbed in a back alley just in behind the bar. So how do you stop this sort of thing from happening? That's a very good question. Education, I suppose. And stop carrying knives, perhaps? And stop carrying knives. Things are getting so bad with people carrying knives in the city that some officers think the time has come for bars to start installing metal detectors at their doors. Reporting from downtown London, I'm Kathy Mueller for News Now. The two victims of the overnight stabbing remain in hospital after undergoing surgery. 20-year-old Michael Goldie Ryder, who was stabbed in the neck, remains in critical condition. 20-year-old Jeremy Beebe, was stabbed in the torso, is in stable condition. Police say the two did not know one another and that Goldie Ryder was an innocent bystander to a dispute when he was stabbed.